Okay, here's where we left off. It's the last video, the tree. The tree getting a drip bowl watering. Uh, this didn't get done yet. I'll show you something else. But anyway, you still got to rip that wall off, chip that wall off. It's harder than it looks to get that off. But see those two drains right there? Those have to be plumbed into in, with these. They need to come down and join these and go over here and go down and hook in with those two in the ditch there. But anyway, um, I was going to show you the slab here. So, yeah, that's a little better. But um, you can see this is all formed and the steel's in. Drain's all ready to go. Let me get on the other side, we'll be able to see better. So this part is pretty much ready to go. Um, all the work's down on this other end. And more conduit. Not to mention all the buried conduits in here. You remember how much conduit was in here? Buried under the rock and the sand. And actually, there's a few, <laughs> a few of them right there. You can see all buried in there. But anyway, here's the drain. So this is going to come out. That's pretty level here, but from here out, it it runs out. That kind of, I was told, sweeps around that corner into that slot drain. This kind of sweeps around this corner and finds its way over to this drain. Um, and then, of course, half of it goes this way and the other half goes that way. And this comes, well, you know how it works anyway. So they're getting those drains in. See the two strings here. They want to make sure they get this perfect, so basically, so you can't tell there's fall. Be so subtle you won't be able to tell yet we don't want any puddles so but anyway it's getting there there's a lot of little details that need to be done i think the pour now is we're looking at next friday so there's a lot of little stuff to do I can deal with this rebar sticking up bend it down uh, the tile guy is going to start on monday he told me as you can see he waterproofed all under here all the way around where the tile's gonna be. He's gotta finish this wall. No, it is finished. It looks like it's not, but it is. That's all waterproofing, this really heavy duty, cool new stuff that, uh, and as you see, the trough is all waterproofed. Looks really good. Um, I like this guy, he really pays attention to detail. That took him a whole day to do that. So, he's really doing it right. Um, and then he's going to start tiling, like I said, on Monday. And uh, I don't know how long that'll take, a few days. Once he gets the tile all in, then Pete can uh, plaster it. And then, uh, like I said, on Friday, we're hoping this is all going to be poured. This whole deck this will all be poured. Uh, I showed you the deck over there on the house. Robert's working on that. That's coming around. Um, we're still working down on the pond, of course. We got that drain pipe. I don't know if I showed you that. The one that goes through the vineyard and then over to the pond. Uh, that's all in and buried. So now we can start working around it and clean it up and put the mulch down on top of it and stuff. But we're still working on that. And then, of course, the new project I told you about that I really think we need to get done. But. Anyway, just wanted to show you this. Once this deck's in, and then once the tile's in and the plaster, I mean, it's really gonna start looking like a pool. And uh, everything will be kind of starting to be fixtures and and trim and all the all the above ground stuff, which means we'll be coming finding a light at the end of the tunnel a little bit. 
instead of looking at this, we maybe have some sinks and toilets and stuff in here. Anyway, I think that's it to show you right now. I think there was some stuff I wanted to talk to you about, but nothing big. Um, we watered. Glenn ended up he I, after I talked to you and told you he wanted to put eight gallons on everything and I anyway we I talked to him the next day or the next couple days and he he put everything on Madeline which I think is a good idea she's really um, on top of things and you know using her pressure bomb results and and really uh, looking at what needs to be done instead of just a gut feeling on what needs to be done so we only put four gallons on on and not even on everything we did block seven I put a little bit on blocks no I didn't put block six we had already done that I put block one two and three so uh, anyway I'm happy about that that we didn't over water um, like last time but like I say their call but that's what they decided so and then right after I talked to her about spraying the pond, right after I watered, I sprayed more for duckweed. Just doing like spot spraying. Right after I water, I go around and do a little spot spraying. There's just little patches of that duckweed that I just got to keep getting. And slowly I'll get it all. Otherwise that stuff will come back in a matter of a few weeks. It will come and take over the whole pond again. So uh, anyway. Uh, Jimmy's down there hand watering right now. I still can't get them guys to to fix them sprinklers, fix the sprinklers right that that they'll hit everything. Because what happens is the plants grew and they're blocking the water, so some places aren't getting it, and then some places it's just not reaching it because they aren't squirting far enough, and and uh, they just they can't come readjust, and it just anyway. So it's going to be a hot weekend, so I got Jimmy hand water in a lot of spots that didn't get hit last night. And just have them soak it really good. And then hopefully they'll come back up and hit it again and get it, get it tuned up so it's right. Anyway, everything else is everything's going good. We've got a lot of guys up here working, which is good. And uh, seeing some progress.